In April of 1974, 18 tornadoes ripped through Kentucky and Indiana, killing 112 people and injuring hundreds of others. Tornadoes, like other natural disasters and man-made disasters, often strike with little warning. In 1974, many people didn't know how to respond when they received any notification. Since that time, the Louisville Jefferson County Emergency Management Agency has been working to create an improved emergency notification system for our area. We take a look at advanced notification systems as we bring this topic front and center. Severe weather, including tornadoes and straight-line winds, is one of the most destructive forces in nature. It can destroy homes and devastate lives and families forever. A release of a hazardous material can cause injuries and change the environment for generations. The quicker you react to impending danger, seek shelter, and follow instructions, the safer you will potentially be. Since 1974, Louisville Jefferson County Emergency Management Agency has developed a warning and response plan to alert as many people as possible to impending danger. It's called the Community Outdoor Warning System, and here's how it can help you protect yourself. In the event of a man-made emergency, such as a hazardous material incident, chemical leak, explosion, or a natural emergency, like a tornado or severe storm, this is what you may hear. It's the sound of more than 120 sirens located throughout Jefferson County. If you can hear it, you may be in danger. If we sound the sirens, something serious has happened and you need to seek shelter immediately and find out exactly what has occurred. If there has been a chemical release, by the time you smell the chemical, you may have already received an unhealthy dose. That's one reason the sirens are in place, to help us warn you that something is going on. When the sirens sound, it's time to take action. We've either spotted severe weather from one of our spotters or on the Doppler weather radar. It's time to seek shelter. Take your plan of action that your family's developed to protect your life and family. When you hear the siren, seek shelter immediately. This is always the rule, even on a clear day. The siren may be the first and only warning you'll receive about a hazardous emergency. What's that going off for? I don't know. Come on in, that's the emergency sirens. We need to find out what's going on. Get indoors, take your pets, close all doors and windows and block out outside air by turning off your furnace or air conditioner. A chemical emergency can happen anytime, anywhere. Chemicals can be dangerous if they escape their containers, whether it is from an accident at a manufacturing facility or a derailed train car. Chemicals are a part of our everyday life. They are found in homes, stores, golf courses, businesses, and on trucks and trains traveling through our neighborhoods. Chemicals exist throughout our community. You need to be aware of their existence. When the siren sounds, always get indoors immediately. Take your pets, close off outside air, and then try to find out what is going on. Turn on your all-hazard weather radio, standard radio, or television to local stations for important emergency information. It's the National Weather Service's responsibility to get that information as quickly as possible out to you using the all-hazards no-weather radio. It can protect your life and family, so you can take your plan of action immediately. 152 what, sir? Do not call 911 for additional information. Detailed information and instructions will be broadcast by local media as well as the 1610 AM system. This is a message from the Emergency Management Agency. One way Louisville Metro government alerts its citizens to emergency situations is through its own emergency advisory radio station located at 1610 AM. During critical situations, radio is a fast and efficient way to let people know what is going on and what to do, whether it's severe weather, chemical spills, evacuation information, or major traffic accidents. Residents can be informed by tuning to 1610 AM. Hazmat incidents are often long-term problems. If we have a serious incident, it could go on for hours or days before it is resolved. It is important the community remains informed. Updates from the scene will be broadcast by local media as well as the 1610 AM system until an all clear can be issued. During severe weather, the sound of a siren tells you to immediately seek safe shelter. It's most important to make yourself as low a target as possible. Get to the basement, a crawl space, get into a near interior closet. 
to an interior bathroom. Cover yourself with blankets. Make yourself as small as target as possible. Find some heavy furniture or a washing machine to get near and protect yourself from. If you're out on the road, pull over to the side of the road. Don't try to outrace the severe weather. Find a ditch or ravine if you absolutely have to to protect yourself. The community warning system is an outdoor warning system. If you are indoors, you may not hear the sirens. That is why you need an all-hazard weather radio with battery backup. Emergency workers recommend all homes and businesses have an all-hazards emergency alert radio with battery backup. The NOAA Weather Radio All-Hazards Radio will protect you and your family from life-threatening events. It will wake you up in the middle of the night. Your local television station will not. It will be there to protect you and your family from events, provide critical information, updating information on tornadoes, severe weather, and what you and your family should do. The Emergency Management Agency has an emergency phone notification system. The phone system can send messages based on geographic areas. A recorded message can be sent to all people within a targeted area of concern. Residents are asked to stay indoors and close all windows and doors. Emergency messages will tell you vital details regarding the incident while being as clear and concise as possible. Those who have a new phone number, unlisted number, or unpublished number will not receive calls. People who strictly use a cell phone will not receive calls as well. The system has access to thousands of numbers that are updated periodically. Residents who change numbers will not be in the system until the next update. Even with the emergency phone notification system, it's important for neighbors to look out for each other. During emergencies, we all need to help each other. If it's safe, make sure your family, neighbors, elderly, and those with special needs are aware of emergency conditions and situations. Our community outdoor warning system is tested monthly on the second Tuesday at noon for three minutes. In an actual emergency, the system will be activated for three minutes, but usually longer. Remember, when you hear the siren, an emergency situation is already in progress. Seek shelter immediately. Close your doors and windows and turn off your furnace and air conditioner. Listen to your all-hazard weather radio and, if possible, turn into the local radio and television news and 1610 AM. Severe weather can hit with little warning and chemical disasters are rarely foreseen. When the siren sounds, know the drill. Be safe, seek shelter. Advanced notice of an impending emergency, even if just for a few minutes, can often save lives and save damage to personal property. To get more information on the Emergency Management Agency and our advanced notification systems, visit our website at louisvilleky.gov. Metro TV, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.